Hi guys, it's Nicole. Welcome to Nicole's Place. Today I want to do something a little bit different. I know I've always focused my channel around food, trying different things, showing you different recipes, and I really, really enjoy that because food is a big part of my life and my family's life. And our meal times are really times where we celebrate each other, the food, and just our relationships. So I love that my channel is so food focused, but I also really love beauty and lifestyle. So today I wanted to show you a really simple makeup tutorial. I don't have a lot of fancy makeup items, but I do have the bare necessities and I think that my everyday is very appropriate for work and just hanging out with friends and it's just very casual, which is how I like to keep it. So if you would like to see how I did this face, which is what I look like every day basically, please keep on watching. Okay, so starting off with a fresh face, we're going to first start with the lips and we have handy dandy Vaseline. I'm just going to use this to prime my lips. I use this every day. It has replaced all of the other higher end lip balms that I use. I just think Vaseline does the trick. So Vaseline it is. Now I'm going to move on to the face. This is the BB Cream by L'Occitane. It has an SPF of 30 in the shade Medium. So I'm just going to dab just the tiniest bit all over my face. I like the BB Cream because it is light and just like a tinted moisturizer, which is how I like to keep it on the daily. And now I'm going to use this uh, Beauty Blender dupe, which is from the brand Quo, Q-U-O. I got it at a Shoppers Drug Mart, which is a pharmacy here in Canada. So I'm just going to use that to dab the product all over my face. I think this Beauty Blender dupe just makes the application very light. Now I'm going to use this Clinique Moisture Sur a Surge Compact as a very light concealer underneath my eyes because I have pretty dark circles so I like to have some light coverage under there. Although I don't like to cover it completely, I think that gives it such a very cakey look. So I'm going to use this concealer to do that. I'm just going to use that Beauty Blender to blend it all in together. And the shade is in light. Next, I'm going to go on to this MAC concealer. I think it's NC25. And I'm going to use that to cover that very annoying pimple that you see on my face. So I'm just going to take the tiniest bit again and just cover that bad boy up. I'm going to blend it in and pack it in so it's less visible on my face. Okay, so that is the face ready. Now I'm going to move on to the eyes. I'm using this Urban Decay Primer Potion, which I have had for years and years and years and years, and it just never runs out. So I am going to use that and put it on my eyelids just a little bit. And I'm just going to smooth it out on my eyelids and get that ready. I'm going to leave that on my face for a couple minutes and let that just activate and do its thing. And after that, I'm going to move on to the eyebrows. I have this compact from Body Shop. As you can see, it's very used and loved. It has two shades in it. I'm going to use the lighter shade and just fill in my brows very, very lightly. I don't want to look like very made up, so I am going to just lightly go over my brows. I think that if I didn't have any makeup with me or that I had my makeup stolen or disappearing for some reason, the one item that I would like to keep is my brow products because I think that is an everyday essential. So I'm just going over this one brow. And then obviously I need to do the second one. 
and I skipped over that. We all know how that goes. So here is the Brow Drama Brow Sculpting Gel from Maybelline. I'm just going to use that to comb through my brows. Sorry, I'm my compact is completely covering the screen. But yes, I think this gel keeps everything nicely in place. So if there is a very stubborn hair, you can physically put that in, in place. Here is the Hard Candy Compact. Um, it's a blush contour palette, but I'm going to use the two colors for my eyelids. I think it creates a very nice light wash of color. I'm just going to brush that lightly over my eyelids. I think it gives an unexpected pop of color when you swirl both of the contour and the blush colors together. I got this from Walmart years ago as well, and the shade is called Skinny Dipping. Here is an Elizabeth Arden Mascara in the color black. I find that this product surprised me actually of how well it did perform. It's not clumping, it's not super, super, super volumizing, but I think it creates just enough drama for my eyes for just an everyday look. So this is the one I've been grabbing for. I'm using this Sigma Dual Fiber F50 brush just to grab up the same blush contour palette and put it put some color on my cheeks. It's so simple. This product is really multi-purpose. Then I'm going to use another brush from Sigma, which is a large angled contour F40 to just pack the color onto my cheeks. I mean, I'm not sure if this is how the experts do it, but this is what I do and this is the finished product. A very simple everyday look that I think is, you know, classy enough and not too overbearing. So you could see here what I look like without makeup and what I look like with my everyday makeup look on. And I think it's very appropriate for all occasions since I don't like how I look with heavy makeup. So that's all I wanted to show you today. I hope you liked this video and bye guys.